Do you, <laughs> Do you believe in life after love? <clears throat> Let me start over. Rain check. Do you believe in life after love after love? I can feel it oh, inside my bones. I really don't think I'm strong enough. That was good. Do you believe in life after love? After love? After love? You're arrested for tax evasion. What? How? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, my degenerates? Welcome back to another episode of Piper Young Cut. Uh, we're in the studio today, right here, Knuckle Punch. Boom. It is That's brought not to you. AI. It's brought to you by Pirate Water. Pirate Water. We got a new flavor. We got a new flavor. Well, what's the flavor called? I wanted to say Wicked Tea. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's go. It's a, it's a tea flavored. I almost called it some. It's not one of those one of those other guys because it's 10%. You know those other guys just brought out the same guy as us. <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, the Nelk Boys also came out with the tea. <laughs> yeah, it's like tough timing. Yeah, but <laughs> theirs isn't 10%. It, well, have we checked that? It's not. All right, well, then ours is 10% ABV, ready to go in a can. Mm -hmm. You can get it just about anywhere. Go, go Puff. Go Puff. Walmart. Circle K. And literally, you can go to drinkpiratewater.com to find it near you. So that's the ad for you. Yeah. We're, we're super stoked about that. That's Pirate Water. This Try one, it. This it's one's a, a guzzler. You can guzzle this one. You guzzle one, and you're like, wow, where's my feet? Well, I mean, this is wicked crazy. I lost it. It was uh, wicked tea. I lost my footing. I feel like crazy. There's oh. ass and titties everywhere. Oh, my God. Yeah, and it's St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Happy St. Patrick's Day this weekend. Thank you. Oh, my God. This is my month. I do think we should switch the month from the previous month to let the previous month have their moment in this month, but that's... Wait, you've lost me. I think I think March should be switched um, to Black History Month because it's longer. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Well, you just didn't say that. You well, just said, I, just kind I of... think we should switch the months to this month. Oh, the last month, uh, the, the, I mean... Are you scared to say it? Black History Month. Say and I it literally like just said it. <laughs> I think you're scared I'm to say it. I'm not scared to say it. I'm literally saying it should be a longer month. I know. They get chipped every year. Mm-hmm. Fuck. I just took these out of the trash. <laughs> they yeah. were somebody threw these away. I know what I picked them Patrick's out of the trash. Day? That's so fucked. Yeah. Oh, I think they go taller. Oh, they don't. <laughs> but <laughs> for those of you listening at home, I'm dangling one of my shamrock shakes <laughs> right now. Do you okay? Do you like shamrock shakes? I'm never. I always want to get one because it's green. Because it's in the season. Mm -hmm. But I'm never really like craving a shamrock shake. I know people go absolutely ape shit ape for shit. it. I like a grimace shake better. Mm. Mm -hmm. I never tried that. I didn't want to die. <laughs> you didn't. Yeah, we tried the grimace shakes. We did. Oh, we never did it. We we're supposed to. I did it. We were supposed to DoorDash at the same time, mm -hmm. and you didn't get one. No. And I tried, it and it was delicious. Was it? It was great. Oh. It was just a vanilla milkshake, but it was purple. Oh, that's, like epic. that's everything blood. you want. I know. I love that. Mm. So, how are you feeling? Sick? You feel sick. I feel sick. You can hear it. I'm sorry if I'm sniffling this episode. That's so annoying. That was me last episode. Everyone says, it seems like she needs to blow her nose. <sighs> yeah, it did. <laughs> I was very sick. <laughs> sorry. Like, you seem to have recovered in two days. Yeah, I, I you know, you know me. Mm -hmm. I bounce back real quick unless I can't. <laughs> I like how we keep our table messy. Yeah, we got uh, we got ass, we got uh, metals, we've got um, pirate water, body armor, markers. Yeah, headphones we don't use. Mm -hmm. It's no problem. We might rebrand our studio, guys. Yeah, we're thinking about uh, you know this is a little too much going on. I feel like I'm in middle school in here. Yeah, a it, little bit. It almost seems like we're in like punishment mode, but it's like we have to just I don't know. It's like a distraction. It seems like when you try to make people happy, so you put them in a room full of colors. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly that. Be happy, be happy. There's colors everywhere. Yeah, it's kind of like when I went to the mental hospital, and when they put me in a waiting room, they put oh. me in a room where it was pretend wilderness. Oh, yes. And I said, I know where I am. This <laughs> you aren't fooling me. Hospital, sir. I, that's a fake-ass butterfly. <laughs> I am fucking scared. Were they moving? <laughs> no. For some people. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungover, oh. so are you. Yeah, a little bit. What's good? Why we keep fucking drinking so much? Well, you know, I feel like uh, we took that month off Yeah, we're where really people are up. really holding it against us. It's like we took the month off uh -huh. and now it's like... People say, you drank it again? Yeah. Oh my, dude, it was dry January. It's this weird thing that everyone does every year for no fucking reason because it does nothing for you but make you want to drink more and then send you into fucking a shockwave of drinking, drinking, drinking every day. What was the point? Don't know. I felt pretty good. Yeah, me too. But I'm just here I am, back here. Back on the horse. Back Can't on help horse. it. It's in our blood. All it does is force you to think, wow, I probably should go sober. I'd be a way better person. But guess what? 
but I'm not gonna. I'm not that good of a guy. I never claimed to be. Mm-hmm. I always said I teeter on the bad side of things. Yes, me too. And uh, I'm excited to celebrate St. Patty's Day. That's kind of my day. St. Patty's Day. St. Patty's Day. It's a... D with a D, no T. I know. I hate when people write T's. We're from like, Boston. Get it fucking right. Get, get it, it correct. right. J Lo's out of her fucking mind. Is that right? Uh huh. Oh, you show me. Yeah, you showed me the video, dude. Okay, there's this video of J Lo. I don't know if we can put it in, but we don't need to. I could just fucking say it. Mm-hmm. She's looking in the mirror. She takes her hair out of her fucking. She's like working out. She's bent over like the basketball coach, mm-hmm. and she goes, "This hair reminds me of fucking when I was fearless and free like a fucking <laughs> girl in the Bronx when I was 16. Give it up, J Lo. You've been rich your whole life now." <laughs> <laughs> and she's holding on to being this girl in the Bronx. I'm like, dude, you J-Lo. Have you ever been back to the block? Dude, doesn't seem like <laughs> it. And I've heard bad stories about J-Lo. Fuck, I don't know. And you know who doesn't like J-Lo? You know how crazy that was? What? Am I going to get canceled by the J-Lo I'm fans? Not sa- I'm just listening. You're giving me this face like this. I'm, I'm ready to hear what, what someone said. The girl from The Bear? Yes. How crazy was that? What'd she say? She had a podcast and she was talking oh, so much shit. she was shit. talking all kinds of shit and they ended up doing SNL together. SNL. I wonder yeah. if they talked or if Jayla was just like this. Mm. She probably only talked to Ben because she's from Dorchester. Mm. <laughs> Dot kid. Dot kid. Come on. <laughs> Dorchester. Come Dude, on. I love that about her. She's yeah. fucking making it big for the rest of us. Yeah. I'll never love run into that. J-Lo, so I'm not worried about it. I will. Mm. What are you going to I'm trying to get on Ben's good side, so, you know, I gotta, gotta uh, schmooze up the wife. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> schmoozy, schmoozy. You and I'm J-Lo a, would be like this. Yeah, I mean, I still would just b- both look in the mirror. Oh, dude, we had it tough back then, huh? <laughs> <laughs> dude, I still wear my hair frizzy. I don't know why you just. What? I forgot to bring your tracksuit. Yeah, that's fucked. It's in Secaucus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I woke up in Secaucus in a parking lot this morning. Is that New Jersey? Yeah. I took a good gamble. <laughs> yeah. It's just 45 minutes down the road. Oh, I, I, I don't got time. <laughs> I'll catch you on the flip. <laughs> I woke up. I'm like, yeah, I, think, I thought it was going to be like a 15 minute Uber. What happened? Some you know what, I might, I might send, a, I might send a, a, an Uber to come pick it up because I think I really need to wear that this weekend. Okay. Throw it a party on Saturday. If I wore that. Oh, but it's not green at all. But, but it gets the message across. <laughs> I'll wear a fucking green hat. I'll wear this. Okay. That'll, that'll fucking do. That is do. fucking good. I'll wear like a, uh, just a t-shirt that I can rip off. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna need that. Yeah. Gonna need that for show. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we got that on lock. It's a caucus. I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. All right. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. I drank a lot of red wine last night. and it uh, Red wine? Okay. Well, I was drinking. Here. Hear me out. I was I'm drinking here. cider. Okay. As one does. Yeah. And I ran out of cider. All only thing. We were, then we were driving through the night. I went to bed at 7 a.m. again. Mm. We were driving through the night to come back to New York. Driving through the night. And the only thing on the bus was red wine. And I had already got a buzz. And I was like, dude. Yeah, you got to keep going. I kind of just want to keep going because I'm up and I'm having fun. Like, I'm chilling. Yeah. And all there was was red wine. Uh, That's quite the switchy doo-doo. It was sobering me up up it felt like mm, that's what you were thinking the more and i drank it thought. i was like oh this is a sober juice of water i think you're in pretty deep <laughs> and then i was like why is this not working and then i woke up and said wow it worked Ouch. i'm hurting wine gives a headache hangover I'm a sick pit, pitiful stomach fuck no uh, that's a both both Ugh. and i gotta poop god damn it i know i'm like fuck this is throwing my equilibrium off here one of your shamrocks um, it hangover. doesn't feel great either <laughs> but you know i'm in the holiday spirit <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm excited. HDS. I'm excited for St. Patrick's yeah. Day. Yeah, it's, it's gonna go. It's gonna go. Uh, it's gonna go just my way. <laughs> I wonder if if Canada has a parade. I think Canada go Canada go, go crazy. People are probably wondering why I keep asking if Canada does St. Patrick's Day. I'm gonna be in Canada on St. Patrick's Day. Okay, is what is why I keep asking Toronto? about Canada. Toronto. Yeah, yeah. They they do it up. Go crazy. They got the Irish there. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Maybe I'll scope out a live show spot we can use. Oh, yeah, perfect. Well, except no one here at Bar Bastos letting us go to fucking Canada. Why don't we throw our own then? Yeah, we're going to have to. Right? Go. It's going to be really bad because we don't know how to put go anything bankrupt. together. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, stay tuned for that. Stay It'll be a pop up at a pop the up fucking shop in the street. At Drake's house, outside of Drake's house. Uh-huh. And we're going to get kicked off campus because mm-hmm. it's a campus that he lives on. <laughs> he does live on Drake Killand. I mean, Drake. Oh, fuck. Sorry. I'm sorry, Sniffles. <clears throat> I understand. It's just annoying. How was um? How was the last two shows? Oh, good. But these shows, I don't have any buddies. Oh, that's stinky. So I'm bored. But it's like it's, it's a tit for tat, you know. Like you, you said it was too many buddies. Now it's like no buddies. It's like where's the happy medium? This is great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick and I swallowed this. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's too. That's don't. too bad. Don't do that. Don't do that, honey, sweetie, baby. We want to get your mind off of it real quick. <coughs> want to get your mind off? 
All right. What is the capital of Russia? What is the capital of Russia? I don't know anything about Russia besides it's scary and dark. Mm-hmm. What's the Slovakia? No, <laughs> that's, a, that's another country. <laughs> what is it? Uh, we're gonna go Moscow. I knew it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Moscow, Russia. <laughs> Moscow mules. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, what's the process of water turning into vapor called? Uh, are you smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs> Pro- process going into vapor of water turning into. What is vapor? the process of water turning into vapor? Is that to steam? It's what it looks like, but what is it called? Vaporizing. Vaporizing. Evaporation. Evaporation. You might get this one. No, I don't think so. Uh, What is the tallest mammal on Earth? A giraffe. That girl. That's my girl right there. It's too easy, right? Number four. This might be crazy. But you got this. Who's the first person to step on the moon? Lance Armstrong. Neil. Yep. What's a Lance? One for four. It was, um, oh, Lance Armstrong is a fucking it's one bike, ball. Bike. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. got the t- one testy. Dude, that's the same dude to me. Oh, dude. Uh, what is the process of a caterpillar turning into a butterfly called? Uh, puberty co- or? <laughs> uh, uh, cocoon. <laughs> Metamorphosis. <laughs> oh, that was Hillary, Hillary Duff's song. Last best album. All right, I'll get you another one. Who wrote I Harry Potter? I gotta get Potter? one more. <laughs> J.K. Rowling. Yeah, that's right. That's on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? That's just a random trivia fact. I mean, it was written by BuzzFeed. Do you see the <laughs> bitch from Harry Potter say, y'all are weird as fuck and you better yes. grow up? That's like very disheartening if you're a Harry Potter fan, but I agree. <laughs> Dude, I know. I was like, okay, I get like, you can still like it. You can still like stuff. Why but can't you? But yeah, a but Harry Potter can't... wedding? Uh, I mean, that's just far-fetched. I don't care. That's weird. That's weird. That's on some weird like shit. And you, you know like. that. You yeah. know that. Like you what know you like. Weird. But if I get an invitation, dress as a dress as a Hufflepuff or dress as a broom when you come to my wedding, nah. I'm not going. I'm straight up showing up in a white dress. <laughs> yeah. This is like straight up forever. <laughs> but like, honestly, like why? But like, what a bitch. Because. What a bitch. You write these books. People adore them. And then you're like, fucking fools. Yeah. Fucking idiots. I wasn't the lady that wrote the books. Oh. She's just an actor in the movies. Oh, which one was this? Um, old lady. Oh, I thought this was J.K. herself. No, she would never. Oh, J.K. I had no idea. That would be. God oh. bless you. That would be absolutely crazy if J.K. came out and said "fuck y'all." She said she did say "fuck y'all" on some gay shit though one time. Wait, she said something about like being gay. Yeah, I, I have a, a weird inkling. Oh shit! This is when people get upset. Like you should know what you're talking about, but I, I, I don't know. It's neither here nor there for me. But I just know she said some bad shit. Wow. Let's read it. Rowling's responses to proposed changes to the UK gender recognition laws, uh, her her views on sex and gender, what were they? Um, oh, she's she's anti transgender. All right, fuck f- fuck this bitch. Did we come? Is that what's happening? That's what it's that's that's what it's getting down to. All right, I don't want to spend too much time on her. Fuck bussy, she's a fucking asshole. All right, so we're done with J.K. Rowling. I mean, what is the capital of Australia though? Uh, Melbourne? No. Sydney? Canberra. Did you see... Jack Mac posted this. Did you see that the way fucking Australia does their daylight savings? No. It's a mind fuck. Wait, why? Can we get that pulled up? Every time I'm reminded of how Australia does time zones, I get mad for no reason. Absolutely no reason. This makes me furious. It shouldn't, but it does. The daylight savings portion of this graphic makes me furious. How? Why are we doing 30 minutes? Why why are we doing half time zones? I know not a lot of people live in this part up here, but the 730. Why are we doing 730 p.m.? Why is it like that? And then why is this 730 p.m. in daylight savings? But this is 830. And this part's just like, we're keeping it 6 p.m. No matter what. Same with this 8 p.m. I, 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 I'm never visiting Australia because of this. I just decided. I mean, it makes no jack damn sense. They're just confused. This is jack shit. That's just confused. I, that's like really confusing. Because <laughs> like, you say you're driving through Australia, you're, you're gaining 30 minutes. 
I love or to losing gain 30. thirty minutes. I'd love to gain thirty minutes. I'm, I'd hate to lose thirty because it's at confusing. Least, at least you're not losing an hour. Like, but, but like I'd rather do an hour because it's easier math. Because yeah, think about it, it's not always one thirty or two thirty. Like you got to do like legitimate math. Why do you have to do math if you have a clock? Because like, what if you got a what if what if you got a meeting on one side of Australia, and it's say it's like one fifteen, and I got to figure out or one fourteen. I'm I'm sitting there like, what time is it on the other side of Aussie? Well, maybe you can look out in the world. Clock. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you could, but it's just like it's just a little tricky. I agree, it's stupid, but I don't hate them. <laughs> uh, no, what? <laughs> I love them. He's what? mad. He hates them. He said it makes him mad, and he can't stand yeah, Australians. <laughs> I, I, that's what you got from that. <laughs> yeah, all I right. was just literally so zoned in on the colors. Yeah. Yeah. The colors get me every time. That's all I could look at was well, wow, beautiful primary colors. Then we threw in some orange. All right, yeah. Um, <laughs> that's what. All right. Yeah, I didn't it really doesn't find make that. any sense. That video put me to sleep, okay. Jack Mac. <laughs> right. so, well, you know, it got one million views, as he does. Which yeah. is, he pulls numbies. He pulls numbies. It's out of control. It's really crazy. Good for you, Jack. Mac. I have a lot of people in like uh, like here here and there asking mm-hmm. me about Jack Mac because mm-hmm. he be sliding. Oh. He be sliding. He be slide. Well, yeah, use it to your advantage. He's clout farm. He's using his clout. So you don't see me fucking sliding. Mm-mm. Why? Except one guy slid into my DMs and, like on some no on some no fornication shit. He said, "I heard you want to swim with sharks. I can make that happen. I worked with Donnie. I'm like, dude, let's make that happen. Dude, he sent me pictures. I got I got to answer. Yeah, you yeah. do. I just wanted to, I wanted to tell you first before I answered. Wow, when are you gonna do it? I mean. You gonna join me? I'll come. I'm Conquer not- your fears? Conquer your fears? Come on. I don't know. Once you do that, you're never afraid of sharks no more. <laughs> I'm afraid of sharks all the time, no not matter what. what. I'm afraid of sharks right now. When I'm sitting here on the land, I'm afraid of sharks. Ah. That's one of my biggest fears, G. I know. I'm thinking about it. Right now, there's okay. a shark under my feet. I can't even go in pools at night with my eyes closed underwater because I think there's a shark. I'll open my eyes underwater in my pool and it hurts and it burns from the chlorine to make sure there's not a shark. Did you ever see that movie? The sharks that they put in the, the lake? lake? Yeah. That's all I think about. Even when I'm in a lake, I'm thinking, well, there's probably that crazy guy that put a shark in here and he's got a camera in the movie in the woods and he's watching me get eaten by a shark. <sighs> they also got the piranha movie where the piranhas are just coming for their everyone's asses. I know. Piranhas are pretty fucking scary, too. I know. Where do they exist? Peru? Yeah. Really? <laughs> I'm yeah. smarter than a fifth grader. Yeah, that was the fucking ninth question here. <laughs> yep, where the piranhas Where the piranhas at? Peru. <laughs> Peru. <laughs> the Peruvian right. piranhas. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll go. Maybe I'll do it. Piranha lands? Uh, no, sharks. Yeah, dude. Like, wouldn't it be sick to like, just fuck you, nah, sharks? Nah, fuck it. I'm not doing it. Uh, I just thought about it. I'll come, though. I'll stay on the boat. Dude, I did some crazy shit where I just, uh, I don't know if I can say it, but whatever. I scaled a building. Mm-hmm. It like Jared insane. Leto. Like Jared Leto. I scaled a building. You'll see mm. sometime soon, mm. but... Oh, I just want to show the picture right now, but I can't. You can't. Oh, you scaled a building. She's I scaled a building. Pretty much, Jared Leto. I'm straight up Spider Man. Uh-huh. Peyton. <laughs> Peyton wants to wear a Spider Man mask well, when we go on tour, and uh-huh. she's gonna she's gonna uh, be the be the mastermind, and nobody's gonna know who she is, and we're gonna get an extra amount of money so that she can fly in <laughs> and land in the DJ booth. Whoa. I guess it's a producer booth, but she's the DJ too because she's Spider Lady. <laughs> Freaking, let's go. <laughs> Where's Spider Lady been at? I'll be first Spider Lady. Oh my God, have you seen? Oh my God, I want to see it just to see it, Madam Web. Oh yeah, I heard it's good giggles. Good giggles. Yeah. Imagine doing a movie and everyone going to see it to laugh at it and talk about how it's the worst movie ever. Imagine working so long on a movie and verbatim saying, "Don't see it." I know. She said that, mm-hmm. and she said in her interview, she's like, "Dakota, what's her name? Dakota." Johnson. Johnson. I always want to say Fanning. Shout out to Dakota Fanning. Love you. Um, but Dakota Johnson, in the um, interviews for the movie, she was like, yeah, the three girls got along. I didn't really fit in. Like, she was just so out of it. Even in the interview, she was like, yeah, it's like, whatever. I don't know. I don't really think I fit in the um, Spider-Verse. <laughs> and why did you do it? Well, I heard that she was bamboozled. So I think they what they think is that she thought it was one kind like she thought it was a Marvel movie, uh-huh. but it's not. What is it? It's a uh, mm, uh, Madam Web. Just give me a second here, Madam, Madam Web, Madam Web. Um, uh, what would you call that franchise? Fit Madam in? Web, Madam Web franchise. Um, MCU. 
What the fuck does that mean? It's different than Monsters Marvel, University. I think. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Monster, mo- yeah. Pretty much, it's the Monster Mash. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they did the Mash. I want to go see it. I know. I want to see it. I want to crack up. You know what was, I feel like, adjacent to that was Wonka. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That yeah. could have been laugh out loud funny if we, but there was families in it and they were enjoying it and we felt bad. There was yeah. like children in so there. So we just got up. I tried to put it on the other night when I was high. I'd see if it was any better. I fell asleep. <laughs> yeah. So fucking bad, dude. <sighs> yeah. So Dakota Johnson really failed, really missed the mark on that one. Yeah. The poor thing. She's you know? a big Nepo baby. Yeah, she is. Mm-hmm. Oh, I saw, I saw a tough interview with her and her mom. They were talking about Fifty Shades mm-hmm. and I was on a red carpet and it's like live and they're like, oh, have you seen the movie? She goes, I absolutely will not. And Dakota was like, I think you might like it. Like, it wouldn't be that bad. And she's like, mm, that is distasteful or something like that. And it was so awkward. <laughs> it was so weird. Oh, I think I've seen that. But like, I don't know <laughs> if I would want to. <laughs> you okay? That's my bad. Uh, no, you're good though. Mm-hmm. Cool. Tastes a little sick. I don't know if I'd want to watch my daughter fuck. No. Maybe I just wouldn't watch it. Yeah, I just, I, prefer- I would say I'm so proud of you. Yeah, but I don't want to see you fucking. That's fair, but all these actresses be fucking. Like her mom probably did like a sex scene at one point. True. I think about Emma Stone's parents watching Poor Things. Yeah, that's one. That's different than um, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey because it's full nudity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, she, she. I mean, she deserves that Oscar. That's a fact. Yeah, you're really putting your titties out there like that mm-hmm. for real. Yeah, yeah. Paul, I always want to call him Art. Paul Rudd. Mark Ruffalo? Yeah. yeah. Why do I always want to call him Paul Rudd? I don't know. They're not really similar. They don't even look alike. <laughs> they are in, in the Marvel compound together, though. They are Hulk Smash mm-hmm. and Ant-Man. Yes. Oh, my God. I've never seen Ant-Man, G. I, I won't. <laughs> I, I don't want to see Ant-Man. I like Paul Rudd. He's a pussy. No, he's a good That's guy. That's a tough fucking Imagine being glitch. a tiny fucking superhero. You're just a little glitch. But it's basically like being invisible. Whoa. Except you have Life no hack, power. Ant-Man. But your secret, what? your little secret ant, just going into secret spaces. Yeah, but you, you like yay high. The best you could do is is move this up like this much. Maybe has soup, but ants have super big strength. Do they? Yes, you don't know that. Oh my god, see how strong an ant is. Google that on your laptop right in front of you. How strong is an ant? They can do so much. They lift everything. How strong is an ant? I used to be obsessed with ants. The average ant can carry between 10 to 50 times its own body weight. That's lit. Dude. That, he, but that only means... Oh, wait. Strong. No, that's strong. That's yeah. so strong. Dude, imagine you could carry 15 of you. I can carry 15 of me. 50, they say. 50, G. 10 to 50. Dude. Ants are strong. Ants are really strong. Yeah. Grace. You shouldn't have to worry about buying tickets to the next big thing, like a Knicks game, like a concert, like a baseball game, like a basketball game. Anything you want to go to that involves fun, Game Time's gotcha, okay? I've used Game Time. We've used Game Time since they became a sponsor when we found out about it. I haven't stopped. I just used them over the weekend. Went to the Knicks game, like you said. Perfect. Last minute, too, right? Last minute, great seats. Lowest price guaranteed. Uh, It's last minute flash deals, zone deals, easy to find and buy tickets, every kind of event in your area. So Game Time is the only ticketing app that gives you complete peace of mind with your purchase. You can see the view from your seat before you buy, which is a must. So you know exactly what to expect when you arrive. All in prices show your total up front and you can buy tickets in second with two taps. So you can take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. You can download the Game Time app, create an account and use code PLANBREE for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply again, create an account and redeem code PLANBREE for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed you ever have an ant farm growing up no why because god forbid it falls over and then you have a house full of ants there's not that many ants in it there's a thousand ants Uh uh-uh 100 i loved ant farms you had an ant farm i had so many ant farms i loved ant farms and i made what would make my own ant farms but maybe now that i look back at it that was mean i would steal the ants from their ant piles Mm -hmm. and i'd make ant farms did you make them stronger at the very least seems like i took them away from their family and they were fighting to get back to their family well they're they're, I'm a dictator. That's okay. They're puny. <laughs> but they're strong. They're puny, they but they're strong. They must have big hearts. They can't love. Yeah, they can. They have can you only ever build. Seen Bugs Life? I was, yeah, I mean... That's my favorite ride at Disney. And when the, oh. the stink bug goes off. Yeah. And it's stinky. And then you look to the guy in the Hawaiian shirt and say, that was you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. And he goes, hey, I thought this was the Lilo and Stitch ride. Where's my ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> exactly that, what exactly I was thinking. Exactly that, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think ants can love. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't agree. All right. I think they're pointless. <gasps> I think they... I'm stomping on them any chance I get. They don't die. They squish them. Ew. I'll squish them. 
I don't like squishing bugs. I don't like bugs. Period. <laughs> bugs are done. I I got the roaches back, so I'm fucking angry. Wait, you got them back? Yeah. What do you mean? Who said like, that? They're, they're like I like every once in a while I see a dead one. Fuck. Yeah. But they're dead, which is dope. Uh huh. But oh, they're dying, which is disgusting. <laughs> fucking fighting for its stupid pathetic life. Ugh. Oh. I will rain hell on those motherfuckers. I came in, I came home last night. I was pretty drunk. Opened the door. Dead ass said, playtime's over. Out loud. Oh I'm like, God. oh, I'm going fucking crazy. Oh, my like, God. I'm, I never know if I'm going to see one when they I walk in. Are friends like that? Nah. No, I'm I'm a dictator. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to fucking own my house. Yeah. Dude, they're living rent free in uh, my head and in my heart and uh, in my fucking home. What are you going to do? Not much I can do. I'm going to have Papa come back. Papa's going to lay the traps down again. He said every six months you got to do it. Fuck. But, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's not cool. You feel, hate. Uh, there's no other way to say it. I feel schizophrenic. Yeah, I'm looking over my shoulder every two seconds. I'm, before itchy. I go in a room, I'll go like this. It's, oh. it's all one room, so I'm I'm, I'm just doing that. Ugh. Fucking half the lights are on when I sleep all the time since I moved in. Ugh. The kitchen light will stay on. It's a studio, so it's still pretty bright in my <laughs> where I'm sleeping. You could get a sleeping mask. No, God, no! I gotta stay. I gotta. I gotta stay away. Uh, God forbid! Like I, sleep I feel with your eyes open. Yeah, I'm just sleep with fucking one eye open. I'm fucking uh. Popeye in this bitch. Oh, you should sleep standing up. I, I, I've tried upside down like a vampire, but I'm it's not, not joking. Quite good. You should get the canopy, the net. Yeah, it's just ah. that will keep you safe, and you can sleep. Yeah, but God forbid they get in it, right? God forbid, but they won't. And then I'm stuck inside a canopy with me and the devil. But how are they gonna get in there? <laughs> The, the they are, they are sneaky fucking bastards. Are they fast? They'll eat through the fucking net. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about anyone but themselves. Fucking useless pieces of shit. Fucking cockroaches. Cockroaches are the fucking scum of the earth. If you are, if anyone ever calls you a cockroach, you should just die. You should be done. Oh, you can't. They won't die. Yeah, that's the thing. So can maybe you're a legend. Can we, they are legendary. Can we look up? They never oh, die. Yeah. They Hots, never die. Cockroaches are legendary. <laughs> We're just not gonna see eye to eye today, are we? Can Insect you, bug fucking talk. Can you can you look up what's a, a roach's purpose in life? <laughs> I don't think you can be. <laughs> no, like what do they do for like what do for they do for a living? I don't know, they're usually accountants. <laughs> what do they do? Like they have to have a purpose. Do they what? do they help anything or are they no. just useless bugs? Useless fucking. Can we look it up? Ugh, I mean, I won't even do that. Personally, we're gonna have to have a fucking. They're a food source for other animals. Like they, they hell. release nitrogen, which is used by plants. Without cockroaches, the plants would suffer, and plants produce oxygen. Without air to breathe, humans can't live. They literally are the reason we are alive. Roaches are legends. They do so much for us. I'm actually very upset. They keep you breathing, Grace. All right. Um. They keep you alive. Wow, I knew it. And maybe one or two is an accountant. Well, how many how many feet are in seventy five yards? <laughs> <laughs> I have I no I idea. I can't do that. I have I'm, no I'm, idea. I'm, I've never even been a plant girl myself. Because mm. you know what plants have? Bugs. <sighs> Keep them outside. <laughs> I, don't, I just I am not. And well, yeah, nobody wants pipe. roaches in their house. No, that's bad. Nobody wants roaches. Period. I was talking <laughs> to some to two Irish broads last night. They said they have no that the worst thing that they have is close to a mosquito, but they never really come mm. around. No bugs. I'm moving to in Ireland. Ireland. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And right after talking to them, I said, I'm, I'm going to come. I'm coming to Galway. And I, they, they're here for a week. They came to my show. I'm like, what are you wasting your time here for? It's crazy. No, that's a good show to go to. Well, yeah. <coughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that's what i'm saying though fucking cockroaches will feed the fucking the, the, the fucking earth and the, and the plants and whatever nothing but green ass greens and an island there's no fucking cockroaches here 
So, that one. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying I'm getting a David Dobrik type fucking flamethrower. I'm gonna light up my fucking house. Ooh! Don't tell fucking Congress, but I'm coming for blood, uh-huh. and I'm gonna get out of this lease. I know I'm never gonna get out of this lease because it's too much. It's too much to deal with. This Did like, you renew? How you, long have you been there? Only a couple months. Since August. <laughs> oh, I thought it was November. No, that's come on. So you're gonna leave in August? Yeah, I'm out of there. I'm just gonna. I'm go. setting sail. I'm going to Dublin. Oh, true. I'm gonna live in Dublin. Okay. I'm cool. gonna go when we go. I'm gonna look for housing and I'm gonna move to Dublin. Okay. We can do this pod across the seas. We could do it from a bus. So I could do it from a fucking from a, from a fucking a hill. Hut. A hut hill. Yeah, a fucking a, a village. A pirate ship. Yeah. Oh wow. It's no problem. All right. So, so that's what we're gonna do. We're going to Ireland, and Grace is gonna live in the hut. Yeah. In the grass. No, no bus. It's not hot. You know, it's like a, it's you know, it's like a Stone like a cottage. Cottages. Yeah. So yeah. it's nice. It's nice. It's beautiful. Yeah. I've never been. It's I can't wait to people. see it. Yeah. It's uh, good. It, you should go because it's St. Patrick's Day, so it's good that we're bringing it up now. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do I they mean, celebrate this. huge over there? No, they don't. Then they get all pissed off. Americans come over thinking it's gonna be a big fucking to do, and they're like, "Can you relax? We don't do that here." Why don't? Why not? Because it's, it's not. It's not like a thing. Because they drink like and crazy like we, people every day. Yeah, and like we like we stole Americans their like culture. Make, no, not particularly. But like, particularly. I'm not. I'm not going to say to an Irish person, "Hey, I'm Irish." No, I'm not. I'm American Irish. Yeah. Sorry. Cockroaches really, really, really. I mean, really. They, they get me all fucking fired up, dude. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, do you have anything you passionately hate? Uh I'm scared of sharks. I know you're going to say that, but like. I guess yeah. You're like worried all the time. I'm pretty worried. I'm worried about sharks right now. Yeah, truly. That's like if I got thinking about it, I get itchy and scared. And your heart a, you starts going. That's how I feel about the cockroaches. Okay, so I get it. That's fair. I get it. It's tough. I know it's, it's tough. tough having a fear. You could go stay at my place. Yeah, I might. There's no roaches there. I mean, it might be. It's been vacant. <laughs> yeah, that's when they come out to play, kid. Oh, I'm gonna walk in and they're gonna say, "Oh, you're back." Yeah. M- m- Body's m- over. <laughs> <laughs> Playtime is over. That's crazy. Yeah. I used to do that with my mice in my other apartment when I came home. I'd Come clap. and stomp in. I'm home. Oh. And then they, then they fucking oh. make you a dress. It's the worst. Because you're Cinderella yeah. with the mice. It's the worst feeling. I'm so sorry for you. I'm so sorry they're back. But daddy's coming to fix your problem. Hope to God, yeah. Mm, good. Hope to God. Well, he might be busy, though. Yeah, I mean, how's oh, yeah, well, how songwriting com- going? He can come when he does his song. Yeah. That's when he'll do I it. I just, I can't fucking wait. That's fair. I can't fucking wait. It's all right. Things are going to be all right. No, no roaches tonight. Pray. Pray. Pray, Jesus. Pray. Lord. Please, oh, Lord. for the love of God. All right. So, Grace got scared. Pray to God scared. that I don't believe in. Mm. Plan Brian Cut is sponsored by BetterHelp. A lot of us spend our lives wishing we had more time. The question is, time for what? Mm. It, if time was unlimited... How would you use it? The best way to squeeze that special thing into your schedule is to know what's important to you and make it a priority. Therapy Mm. can help you find what matters to you so you can do more of it. Mm. Listen, you know, here and there, you know, I'm not always feeling too great. You know, Mm. it's always nice to uh, talk to talk to a specialist, you know, talk to someone. Get your feelings out. Get your feelings out, you know, like just, you know, have someone to just lay it on. A licensed professional. A licensed professional. Mm. And that's what you could do with BetterHelp. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited for your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash PlanBree today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash PlanBree. Let's get back to the show, Bree. So um, what are you doing tonight? Uh, tonight I'm I'm gonna fucking I'm setting traps. <laughs> I'm fucking setting traps. I'm, laying the law. I'm making my apartment squeaky clean. Uh-huh. I'm covering up fucking pipes because I'm out of uh-huh. here tomorrow. Going uh-huh. home from Boston. Oh, so they have a little weekend to themselves. Yeah. I just, I'm I you know what I'm gonna put such putrid fumes in there that when I get back I die. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. Say, all your all your sheets are disintegrated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your couch melted. <laughs> It's like um, on Spongebob when they just paint Mr. Krabs' place white yeah. and everything's gone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, so. Kind of crazy Patrick just lived under a uh, rock. Yeah. His place was dope. He had it going on. Okay, if you could if you could live... That's actually kind of what a studio apartment is. I know. <laughs> if you could live in any three of those on the strip. Well, cool. Squidward had it. He had it made, He had right? it made. The pineapple house is sick, though. Yeah, no, it had character. Okay, so... He was a swinger. What? SpongeBob was a swinger. Was it upside down? Under the sea. 
Well, there was always those little adult jokes. I know. <laughs> oh my God, you little fucking perv, Spongy. He was such a perv, though. He was a perv. He was a little perv. He was so trying to fuck anyone that would talk to him. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. SpongeBob was a little slut. I hope he got it. He definitely didn't. Well, him and Patrick probably did a little. They fuck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Little and Squidward Dave-o. always. Squidward was a homophobe. Yeah. That's why he was so. And like, he lived in like an industrial type. But he was a, a gay homophobe. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, get away with Wait, me with your gay shit because I'm gay. Because remember how excited he was when he was part of Squidward Land, but he was like a little too excited. Mm-hmm. And then he was trying to, like, he, he got a little gay with them. Mm-hmm. And then they were like, actually, we don't fuck with you. Mm-hmm. And so we went back to those two gay boys and they yeah. had an orgy. Oh, and he was so mad at Squilliam because he was so handsome and, oh. did the, and played the flute. Oh, my God. And then when he got those thick ass thighs and oh, he like, looks like all fucking thick and shit. Yeah. Squidward was Practic- gay. Code. Yeah, SpongeBob was just coming out story. And I'd say Sandy was um, pretty gay herself. <sighs> For yeah. sure. Yeah. For sure. And Not Pearl she was a the... whore. Yeah. <sighs> she was trying sure. to get fucked sideways. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> was that even a real father or was it Sugar Daddy? <laughs> For real. They don't look anything alike. They do. That's and that's be not racist. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're teetering. You're teetering for sure. Oh, fucking uh, Pearl. Yeah, Pearl was a slut. I've never really picked them apart. Sandy was gay. Mm-hmm. But she did look cute in her bikini top. Dude, I, know, I wasn't Maybe looking. Maybe I'm gay. I wasn't looking. I was. I was looking. I was looking. When she got <laughs> big mad Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> big mad Sandy. Sandy cheeks. Come on. Come on. She was clapping you, you, cheeks. You tempted me with that Come one. Come <laughs> on. Sandy <laughs> cheeks. This show was super sexy. This is crazy. I mean, bikini bottom. Oh, my God. Come on now. Oh, my God. And Plankton was just square. Plankton was fucking an inanimate, an inanimate object. No, oh, he was a freak a computer. for real. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't know if there's a word for that. Plankton. Plankton. Right? Yeah. <laughs> they just loved fucking computers. Yeah. Everyone knows a guy like that. Do? What? Uh, yeah. Do we? Yeah. Like whom? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll show you. I'll tell you later. Uh, I'm sure. Everyone knows a guy like that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wait, who else was in that show? SpongeBob? Mr. Mr. Krabs? Who yeah. Was oh, he was just... He was the pimp. He needed the cash. He was a sugar daddy to pro. We, we, we solidified that. Mm. That's gross. Right? I guess, yeah. Yeah, he was a sugar daddy for sure. Wow, we just really cracked it all. Yeah, I mean, I knew what they were doing. Mm-hmm. Can you do the best SpongeBob? Laugh. Uh, ew, that's so annoying. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> the <laughs> guy always does that when he does it. Uh, wait, I'm gonna throw up. Ah, 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 ah. Wait, do you right laugh? Right the <laughs> 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 I knew it. I don't want to do that. That's so annoying. Um, that's SpongeBob. That's Ariana Grande's husband. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Why is he SpongeBob again? Because he's on the play. Oh, uh, yes. yes, yes, yes he yes, plays yes. SpongeBob SquarePants on Broadway. Mm-hmm. And she's Galinda. <laughs> I'm actually very excited for that movie. I love Wicked. I do too, but. You gotta, you gotta go. To, we gotta go to Wicked. I know. Next I time want you're in to. town, just yeah. hit me up. Is it on? <laughs> it's always on, yeah. Forever? Yeah, it's a Broadway show. <gasps> Is it the same cast every time? Is this no, how Broadway no, no. works? Well, uh, so the dull cast for like a long period of time. Fuck, okay. But uh, the OG cast, I wanna see the, they I were done see by the, like 2012. I wanna I see the good people do it. Well, I mean, they got to be good if they're doing it, you know? Everyone on Broadway's good. Yeah. I've never been to a Broadway show. Well, I mean... And I live in New York City. I know, it's crazy. The Big Apple. I've always wanted to go. So we're going to go. I like musicals in the musicals in standpoint. In the musical realm. I don't put a musical on my TV. Mm-mm, don't put it in my Greece. face. Grease. That's dope. Grease rocks. John Travolta was smoking. He was smoking. He was smoking. My mom met him twice. What? Yep. Where? Uh, at the BAC. No shit. Once, and then um, at a toy store. I met Gwen Stefani at the BAC with Johnny Depp. No shit. This is a this is a um, a gym. In this Boston. is a gym in Boston where I used to have daycare. Oh yeah. After school play. Gwen Stefani and who? Johnny Depp. No no no. Were Jason Aldean. Jason Aldean. Oh. No. Mm-mm. One of her boyfriends. Okay. But it was Gwen Stefani and one of her boys. Let's go. And he was famous. Oh. But I didn't know. My mommy was freaking out. <laughs> Big wigs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait. So everyone goes there. All yeah. the famous people. We should stand out there with cameras. Yeah, I'm in. Okay, cool. Yeah. Where else did your mom meet John Travolta? I'm At intrigued. a toy store, I do believe. FAO Schwartz. Remember the one? And they had the big bear out, out front, right in front. What, what, what? The, 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 big, um, the big toy store in Boston. They had the big bear out front. I Giant know. bear. I never went. Oh, it was really cool. Cool. Sorry. You had fun. You got big bear, big toys. And John Travolta was playing with toys in the toy store. 
sorry for making you feel bad. <laughs> I went to KB Toys. Do you remember that? No. Really? No. Uh, doesn't matter. Hey. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what Yeah, I never met John Travolta. Yeah, neither have I. Are you dying to meet him now? I, I, I'd like to I'd like to <laughs> give him a handshake before he croaks. Yeah. Do you see how hard Donald Trump uh, shook the shook the shit out of Dave? No. Do you think, <laughs> I didn't catch you, that. You got to catch this. He manhandled him. Dave was like, oh my God, I just got manhandled. Really now? He That's took a power him, move. And he pulled him in. Oh. And the, he was there with the bus and with the boys guys. Yeah. And um, they had went up. They had gotten up to go talk to other people. And it was right when Trump came in. So it was it looked like Dave was sitting alone. And he was all alone. And he was like, oh my God, I got to do this alone. And he got manhandled alone. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, Trump grabbed him by the hand, and you can see it from the other side. He pulls him in, and Dave goes forward. Oh, my God. And he was like, dude, I cannot believe how much I just got manhandled by him. <laughs> and then he just had to sit back down. That'll sway your vote. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> dude, we totally... Don't try to big dick D. I know. Come on. What the heck? D and D, head off. Oh, my God. Double D. Um, We totally should have went... D shakedown. Oh, my God. <laughs> Double D shakedown. That is a double D shakedown. That sounds like a good shake in and out. Um, that sounds totally like a good point. Oh, what? Stop. The That's double gross. D shakedown. I don't like it. What t-shirt contest? Oh my god. Where does my head go? I don't know. There's only one antenna working. Come on, <laughs> we should have went to this. To the UFC fight? Yeah, I All know. the big wigs were there. I know. And our besties were there. I know. Our buddies from home. Yeah. Shout out Shano. Yes, shout out Shano. For real, yeah, should have went. Maybe we could have got manhandled by Trump. It's, cr- it's hilarious because I'm doing the the, um, the party on Saturday and I, I'm telling everyone like, uh, like just tell me who you who you coming up, put yeah. you on the list, like whatever. Shano, it takes it very serious. I go, Shano, you 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 compile a list of names. You just tell me, all right? Mm. He texts me like two days later. He goes, all right, I finalized the list. Because nice. <laughs> he like picks and chooses. I think he likes to be like, uh, yeah. you, you, yeah. not you, you. Yeah. And he goes, uh, how's that look? How's that looking for you, G? I go, that looks fucking phenomenal. That's a phenomenal he goes, oh, list. thank God, because I worked really hard on that. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. beautiful. Yeah, it's good. Wow, well, good guys. Yeah, good guys. Boston guys. Happy to see them. Happy to go. I know it's been a, it's been a minute. It has been a I'm minute. I'm excited to go home. I know. I want to go home. I don't know where the next time I'm gonna be home is. Can you can you go home? I can't go home this weekend. Uh, but I can go. I'm going home in April. Oh, nice. I'm say hi. April guys. Fools. Yeah. Surprise, motherfucker. Surprise, motherfucker. Uh, you I'm thought gonna... I was gone. I'm bad. Do you ever have this problem where you think a mole is a pimple? Um, you try to pop it? No, I don't really get moles. I just get freckles. Oh. But you got that going on? I have a mole. Dude, I, someone has have to have gone through this. And you think it's a pimple and you try to pop it. And oh, then your yeah. mole is hanging off and it's bleeding. Ooh. I get a lot of moles in my Italian you gotta get that. You gotta get those checked out. Yeah, I know. At all times. I gotta go to the dock. You gotta go to the dock. I gotta go to the dock. All right, guys. Quick commercial break. So, do you ever wish you could call a foul on your wireless carrier for hidden fees? Foul! Yeah, I wish all the time. Then it's time to switch to Visible. So you can switch to Visible, the wireless company with nothing to hide. They're right up front. You can get online wireless with unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon, the good guys, with just $25 a month taxes, fees included, G. Okay, it's one line wireless, just $25 a month. Everything included Visible is the wireless company with nothing to hide. No hidden fees, no gotchas. They're not magicians. They're not sneaking tricks on you. They're fr- fully frontal, not nude, honest. Unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon. Don't let hidden fees stop you from being a fan of wireless. You can switch to Visible and save. You can switch now at Visible.com. Rate with service on the Visible plan for additional terms and network management practices. You can see Visible.com. Oh, guess this song. Do you believe in love after love? Yes. What about this one? Something about America. Hey Jude. Yes, the Beatles. Uh, what about this one? <laughs> Alabama Barker's new single. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, gonna be yeah by Lil John and Usher. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, Kate Middleton. Yes. Dude, what the fuck? Can you give me a rundown? Because I don't really know what's going on. Okay. Um, I guess so. Let me try to just... I'll just read this to you from... This is the synopsis of it. Okay. Okay. All right, so last week, Kate Middleton was seen for the first time since around Christmas, Mm. which is crazy. That's a long time. First time being seen. And they're always seen. 
like all the time. After conspiracy theories of her disappearances started going viral, Kate Middleton had a planned abdominal surgery in January, but conspiracy theorists think she has more going on with her health. William cheated or Kate got cosmetic surgery like a BBL. <laughs> And the paparazzi pictures isn't actually Kate. And what people believe was a move to further calm people's theories. Kate and William's official social media posted a new photo of Kate and her children for British Mother's Day on Sunday. This was crazy. The Associated Press eventually ended up killing their story on this picture after people began to realize the picture was likely edited with AI. In the photo, Charlotte's wrist has an editing error. Kate's left hand doesn't have her wedding ring on it. Kate's right hand is blurry. All the children's fingers are crossed. There's leaves (laughs) on trees. Yeah. There's leaves <laughs> there's leaves on the trees despite it being early March and more. Um, and then they came out on Monday, the official social media page for Kate and William tweeted again saying Kate was experimenting with editing as a rookie photographer. The tweet says, like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. I hope everyone celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day. These royals need to get their ducks in a row. And then right after that, she was seen leaving the castle. Oh, she was seen leaving the castle? I'm sure of it. And that looks edited. That's fake. From 2004. Yeah. Yeah. It's What's the, what the quad? Crazy. What? The, uh, the, I think the craziest thing, dude, look at the kids. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fucking on some crazy shit. Unless they're um, newfound British chop gangsters. <laughs> but fucking... The weirdest thing to me is the picture and then having to come clean and be like, you know, us, uh, amateur <laughs> photographers just experimenting with editing. So, oh, all of a sudden you're an amateur photographer? What is going That's on? That's some crazy Something's bullshit. Something's going on, right? Yeah, there's, there's, there's something, something's a brewing. And it's hilarious and it's if not it's really tea. a BBL. This is good uh, good English tea. This is good pipe hot English tea. Do you drink your tea with coffee and sugar? I mean, milk and sugar? <laughs> I don't take my tea. Mm. <laughs> you take your tea with milk and sugar. I like it black. I know that about you. Mm-hmm. Just like your men. They like, yes. It's too easy. You got to say it every time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's good. That's good. So Kate Middleton is, is I'm, I'm feeling like she's having an Avril Lavigne. Oh, like they're just going to replace her? With the edited photo. Mm. I don't know. They lo- I mean, you know what? They, things are falling apart because they lost their Chris Jenner. True. That queen was keeping things in line. And how was she doing that? She was flipping them. Mm. Mm-hmm. Whipping them into shape mm-hmm. for years on end. She was. She reigned for years. Mm-hmm. It's just crazy. Mm. So, uh, Rest in peace. Kate Milton, uh, come out, come out wherever you are. Please. Uh, I, I honestly don't give a shit about you, though. I right. really don't. You're I don't just even like, know anything about the royal family. They're just like the Kardashians of the UK. Mm, that's dope. They, they they just they're rich. They but get, they're royal. People respect them. I, I mean, not I, anymore. Uh, I mean the 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 British have never really like liked them. Honestly, they just like Princess Diana. Yeah, like what? Like once they had uh, once they started the um. Uh, the, the Boston Tea Party. Like once they got a prime minister, <laughs> mm-hmm. it was like, well, they have no say in anything. So it's like, yeah, they're just they're just like rich. some rich fucks that like live in this. They take up half the fucking World. city. <laughs> it's like, all right, sick. Yeah, it's you, like you a get pick. it. You're rich as fuck. It's like uh, fucking Trump putting a bunch of towers everywhere. Mm. It's like you don't need them. <laughs> yeah, what are you trying to prove? <sighs> You're compensating. Yeah, you compensating. This is not a double D shakedown. Yeah, no, 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 no. So who you da- voting for? <laughs> who you voting for? Um. Pause. That's this week's episode of Plan B Uncut. <laughs> See you guys next year. <laughs>